Vi fick Kai en Sarkofar. En rätt som hon själv komponerat. General Galifé som var värd för kvällen förklarade att denna kvinna, denna kökschef var kapabel att förvandla en måltid till en slags uh, kärleksaffär. Ett uh, älskogsförhåll där man inte längre kunde skilja mellan fysisk och andelig aptit. There are a lot of movies in which food figures, a lot of movies with banquets and feasts and parties, but there are very few movies I can think of where food, the preparation and the eating of food, the sharing of a meal, plays such a central role as it does in Gabriel Axel's Babette's Feast. Based on a story by the Danish novelist Isaac Dinesen, Babette's Feast is set in the 19th century in a remote part of Denmark. It concerns two sisters, Martina and Philippa. They're the daughters of a Protestant minister who's sort of the dominant figure in this rural, very pious community. When they're young, they each have a suitor. One of them has a young, dashing officer. The other, a rather florid French opera singer, also gives her voice lessons. But neither relationship works out, and the two women grow toward middle age together as spinsters. Then one day, a mysterious French woman, played by the great actress Stéphane Audran, shows up on their doorstep. She's an old friend of the opera singer, and she's fleeing from political persecution in Paris. She becomes the sister's cook and housekeeper, and she masters the local diet, which consists basically of boiled salted fish and a porridge made from stale bread and old beer. Brød. Brød. Lægges i blød. They live like this for 14 years, and then one day, Babette wins the lottery. And she decides that before going back home to France, she's going to treat the sisters to a lavish and extravagant French feast. And the preparation and the sharing of this meal takes up almost the entire second half of this movie, and it's lingered over in wonderful detail. thing about this movie and why it is so moving and so satisfying and so fulfilling is that it shows that this religious asceticism and this sensuality are really expressions of the same impulse, which is an impulse of love and generosity and spiritual fulfillment. Klokken slår, tiden går, evigheden os forstår. Lad os da bruge den kostbare tid.